everyone, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. I have one final Christmas idea, gift idea. This is like a last minute one that's really quick and easy. I am gonna be making cozies for these coffee tumblers. Now I picked these up at my dollar store and they were two for one. So a very inexpensive gift and I will be putting a little gift card inside for our, our local coffee shop. I am measuring this and my tumbler measures five inches by about 10 inches around. And so I am going to be cutting a piece of scrap batting that I had. This is warm and natural batting, so it is 100% cotton. Um, I am just marking how I want to cut this. It's going to be cut so it has a little bit of a, of a narrower end um, and then the full five inch or, or so. Um, width on the other end. I hope that makes sense. You'll see it as I cut it here. I did make it a little bit longer so it's going to be um, overlapped when it's on the tumbler. I'm just using a water soluble marking pen here and just getting this drawn out so my lines are somewhat straight. This isn't perfect but you'll get the, you'll get the idea. I um, just I have more people on my list this year than I've ever had before. I just wanted to give people who have meant so much to me during this pandemic. Um, and I'm sure that you have those people on your list as well. I'm thinking of my mother-in-law who's in assistant living, who, um, some of the nurses aides and some of the director who's just gone above and beyond. And also, let me tell you, my mail carrier, who's taken so many of my packages to the mail um, so I didn't have to go and I could social distance, she picked them up for me and it was just wonderful. I have a piece of, or I have an old jelly roll and this is the fabric I'm using and also one of my fabric flowers. And I'm going to list that video down below if you missed it on how I made these little flowers. I'm going to need a little piece of elastic for this as well. I'm using two millimeter elastic cording. Now you don't need a jelly roll for this. Um, you can just use any strips of fabric that you might have in your scrap bin. I do vary my, my widths of my scraps just for interest. Um, and this is that easy flip and sew method. I am taking a qu quarter inch seam allowance and taking it to my sewing machine, sewing, flipping, ironing until the whole piece is covered. And then it's on to trimming all the edges. So I want to trim it right to where that batting is. And onto the elastic, I'm cutting about a five inch strip of elastic here. And again, this is a cord. We'll be just zigzagging that at my sewing machine. And I'm using the multi zigzag stitch. I just find that works the best because you want to make sure that you really get that elastic caught. I cut a piece of, bat of backing the same size as my, my batting. I always mark my opening so I don't forget to leave it when I'm at my sewing machine. I mean, it's about a five inch opening. I'm gonna be taking this to my sewing machines, right sides together and stitching about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And now it's on to trimming, just trimming my corners. I do not trim away anything on that opening. I, I wanna be able to turn that under and you need a little bit more fabric for that. Just getting my fingers in there now and turning everything right side out. Now this is a, such a simple project, but I thought, you know, I have several of them to make. They go really quick and it's just a really cute handmade gift. And then too, if you add a little gift card with it, it just makes a complete project. I'm just rolling those corners and edges. One final press here and I will be pressing that opening as well, just turning under those edges and getting that nice and pressed down. And we'll take this to the sewing machine and we'll be top stitching all the way around, catching that opening and closing that opening. I'm just rolling this in here and just wanting, wanting to make 
sure where I want my button. I'm just going to mark where I want my button to be. I have my, my foot on for my button sewing. And I always walk my machine first just to make sure I have the right width so I don't break my needle. And then on my sewing machine, I have a Janome. It automatically ties the knot. Just really easy to sew on buttons with this machine. And here's what it looks like. I'm going to add that little embellishment pretty much the opposite of where that button is. And to my sewing machine once again, and I do have my free motion foot on, and I do have my feed dogs dropped. Um, and just to, to add that little embellishment. And I'm, this embellishment has a, a fab or a drapery lining on the back of it. And the video that I'll link down below shows that. I love that little white outline because it really adds a lot. And you can add these also to a drink um, a water bottle. Thank you, everybody. I have some pictures at the end. I hope you have a chance to create this week. I know it's a busy one for everybody. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful um, holiday. Bye for now.